Well, she may be the smallest player on the team, but that hasn't stopped Brooke McCarty from becoming the Longhorns' leading scorer. And Fran has more on McCarty's signature shots. So I played with a small point guard. She was 5'5". Five, five. Now you're 5'4", five, and I've always been fascinated with how you have to adjust your game based on the fact that some guards are even my size, which are six, you know, six feet, six two, those kinds of things. How, at what point in your career did you figure out that you needed to do some stuff more creatively to, to be successful on the court? Uh, I think probably junior year going into senior year. I was playing in AAU and the competition just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> so um, at that summer, kind of going into my senior year, I kind of worked on some different things. And then coming into college, I kind of worked on different things too, just because they were much bigger in college too. So yeah. I think it was probably my junior years going into senior year. So there are three signature shots that I noticed from your game. One of them is your middle floater. One of them is like one of your baseline floaters. And then that bad step back over bigger players. Can you show me those? Sure. All right, let's see the first one. All right. Take a couple of shots. All right. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna see what that shot looks like over a defense. <laughs> so same move, so you, you get past your first defense and then you come in to try to get to the 12 because yeah. that's what you want to do as a player anyway is try to get into like the gut of the defense mm -hmm. and then you shoot over this person. Is there a place where you try to, if there's a person waiting here, do you try to take the shot before they get here or you go into them a little bit more? Um, it depends on how big they are. I okay. mean, if they're really big, then I'll probably take it more out. But like okay. if they're like your size, then I'm just gonna. Oh, you don't think I'm that big? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> just, okay, go. <laughs> All right. Shooting a floater from the center of the, of the lane is very different than shooting a floater from the baseline. What's the main difference between taking that shot and the one you're going to show us on the baseline? I think the middle one, you have the backboard, so it's not really, like, yeah. you know it's going to hit something, but, like, the baseline is kind of like, if you, don't hit, yeah, <laughs> if you don't hit the ball, <laughs> then you might hit over. So, I don't know. Okay. I think that's the biggest difference. There, there you go. The last shot I've noticed that you've been taking a lot lately is you've got a bigger guard on you, so they're guarding you. And if you don't get past them, you'll do like a little step back. How'd you develop that shot? Oh, um, well, that was kind of my go-to in high school, like all young, when I was younger and stuff like that. And when I got here, I kind of stopped doing it just because I tried to find my rhythm and just kind of get comfortable again. And so this year I've used it again and it's kind of been working. All right, let's see it. Without defense. <laughs> okay. Woo, let's see what we got. Nice. Okay. There you go, all right. So what would you say the most important thing is when you're developing a, a step back? Um, spacing. Spacing, being able to get that spacing and then focusing on the shot. Yes. Not bad, not bad, youngster. <laughs> Still gotta beat me though. You out of breath. <laughs> Uh, did she make all those on the first oh, shot? For uh, yeah, I'll give her that. She did make it. She's a bad shooter, but it's not as easy as it looks, Alex. There's a few outtakes from that. We'll be back with the second half. Uh